Alright, in this video I'll be showing you how to soft mod almost any Wii using the guide on WiiHacks.com. So you can just follow the link in the video description. Before I get started, I'd like to give a special thanks to my frog. Soft mod almost any Wii. And this will not work with the Wii Mini. And to be clear, this is for the Wii, not the Wii U. And there's the password. You'll need that for downloading the hack packs. And this works on system menu version 3.0 through 4.3 regions U, E, J, and K. And this is compatible with the hard modded Wiis and soft modded Wiis. Soft modded Wiis just follow the guide. Don't delete anything. This guide will overwrite all your old soft mod. This guide has complete support for the Wii Motion Plus remotes. And warning, never ever update your Wii from Nintendo. After completion of this guide, your Wii will have the Homebrew Channel, Boot Me, Neo Gamma, and the three most popular USB loaders. So USB Loader GX, that's my personal preference as well as configurable USB loader and Wii Flow. So chapter 1, installing the homebrew channel and boot me. Uh, remove all GameCube controllers, GameCube memory cards, and USB devices. Uh, format your SD card to FAT32. Then use a standard SD card, 1 to 2 gigs. And if you have any issues, you can try format with this format tool. And there's a link. And if needed, you can use 7-zip to extract archive files. Part 1, Launch Hack Me Installer. You want to choose the method compatible with your Wii. So since I have a Wii System Menu version uh, 4.3, I'll be using the Letter Bomb exploit. So this does not require a game disk. Go to the Letter Bomb site here. Just make sure that your system date and time is correct. Make sure you have the correct MAC address. Make sure you know the correct region. You can select uh, lease settings. And then select internet and console settings. You can get your Wii's MAC address. To format your SD card to FAT32. Close that. And go to my computer. Then you can right click your SD card and go down to format. Be sure to set file system to FAT32 then click start. And of course you'll want to back up anything important before you format it. And click OK. Close. I have system menu version 4.3U. Enter MAC address. Uncheck uh, bundle the hack me installer for me. Enter the captcha. Finally, you'll want to cut the blue wire and it should download a letter bomb. Right click and extract. You open the letter bomb folder and there should be a private folder. You'll want to copy that to your SD card. Download uh, HackMe 1.1.0. Just click the link. Right click and extract. Just right click, copy, and paste it on your SD card. Put your SD card into your Wii. Next, you can hit the envelope in the lower right hand corner. And if you do not see the red message uh, with the bomb, hit the plus or minus buttons to choose a different date. And click on the big red envelope with the bomb. And the Hack Me Installer launches. Part 2, install the homebrew channel and boot me. Read the scam warning and press 1. Install the homebrew channel. Install boot me is boot2. Boot2 may not be available. Uh, iOS installs automatically. And 
prepare the SD card. And part three, make a NAND backup, exit, and load the homebrew channel. Then press home and launch boot me. Make a NAND backup. And do this by pressing power, 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 reset, reset. Or you can use a GameCube controller. Once the backup is complete, you can exit uh, boot me to the homebrew channel. Then back up your boot me files to your PC. Chapter 2, Hacking Your Wii. Uh, format your SD card again. Just right click, format, FAT32, start. Okay, close. And I'll just minimize this for now. I download the mod pack files. And here's the password. You'll need it to download the mod pack files. So, and the next part, you want to download the mod pack. There's the link. Enter the password. Paste. Unlock file. Click download. If you'd like to update your Wii iOS, you can download the iOS update. There's the link. So if you're on a system menu version older than 4.3, you need this. So enter password, paste, unlock file, and download. So if you'd like to update the Wii Shop channel, then you can download RVL shopping version 21 so if you have not updated your shop channel since november 2012 you will need this once they finish downloading you'll want to extract them and copy them onto your sd card right click extract extract ios update extract shop channel Pull the SD card back up. Copy the iOS update. And the mod pack. shop channel the verify checksums run uh, md5 summer exe should be on your SD card and click verify sums we'll first verify mod pack md5 open All right it's 42 out of 42 100 percent okay close and verify some iOS update open 25 out of 25 100 percent okay close and one more time verify shop channel open one out of one 100 percent okay that so you want to yeah, make sure all uh, checks Check sums should verify without issues because if there's an error, then that's bad news. And just download them again. Part one WAD installs. Now, this guide now uses uh, Wii Mod to install the required files to your Wii. Warning Wii Mod is a very advanced application. Follow the instructions exactly as written. Messing with the uh, options in Wii Mod without knowing exactly what you are doing could brick your Wii. You have been warned. And insert your SD card. Launch the Homebrew channel and then launch Wii Mod. And use the D-pad on your Wiimote to scroll down to WAD Manager. And 
pressed 1 to install all the W80s. And after completion, you may press any button to continue. Be sure all 30 W80s install. It's very important. And if you are updating the shop channel, just select the shop channel version 21 folder, press A. And then if uh, updating your iOS's, go to the iOS update, press A, and press 1 to install all the W80s. Press A. Those well, should be 25 W80s that should install without error. And then part 2, install preloader. Preloader is a uh, brick protection. You definitely need this. You should go to the homebrew channel. Launch uh, preloader. Plus version. Let's see. Preloader installer will load read the warning and press plus if you're using the Wiimote or A if you're using a GameCube controller. Let's see, when it's finished the homebrew channel should load. Hold the reset button on the Wii console, keep holding it until preloader loads and select system Wii hacks, press A. And then you can enable hacks like uh, block disk update, block online update. If you don't know what a hack does, you don't need it. Um, select save and press A and press B to go back to the main preloader screen. And your Wii should now block you know, disk updates and online updates. Never update your Wii from Nintendo. Chapter 3, the final step. Format your SD card one last time. Right click, format, FAT32. Okay. Minimize that. Extract the app pack directly to your SD card. This contains all the apps you will need. I'll follow the link. And download it. There's no password. Once it's finished downloading, you can extract it. and copy the apps folder to your SD card. Then remove your SD card and insert it into the Wii. You'll see the following channels installed, none of which will work by the way if you didn't extract the app pack to your SD card. Wii Flow, Configure Loader, Again. USB Loader GX. Alright, so there you go. Uh, don't forget to like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe. Or you can also check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Thank you for watching.